Would you like to convert into his pants? Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> but seriously though, what do we want to convert into pounds? <laughs> hey, great show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was a good show. Uh, thank you very much. Hi, Hi it's well, Corson Rhino. <laughs> But what? Seriously, though, what would you like to convert into pounds? What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> but what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> we can do this. Repeating that over and over and we over. We can do again. this all day. That's I don't great. mind. I'd be all right with that. <laughs> I would be. I would be so all right with that. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I haven't. I haven't seen your show in so many weeks. <laughs> and now you've come back and you realize, oh, it's still a mess. <laughs> How many, I, what would you like to convert it down? <laughs> um. I love that, man, that that's just, okay. That's just the answer to like everything now. Exactly, it's the question of life. Um, I do apologize, it was a little bit uh, miscombobulated, I'm not in my normal spot, it takes two hands to move my mouse now, don't ask. Uh, I'm trying oh. to convert everything into I'm pounds. I'm asking, so... <laughs> um, I mean, don't ask, just saying don't ask is not going to get me not to ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, well, because uh, I have my mouse, I'm doing it, this from my parents' dining room table. So, right. it's a glass top. And I have an exercise book as my mouse pad. And it just takes forever for the mouse to move anywhere. <laughs> and I was trying to ask myself what I would like to convert into pounds every time I want to move. What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> this is just going to get mad. I just thought it was great that Siri just decided <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds was something that it needed to repeat. Over and over <laughs> and over again. For and five. then once you once you finally got through to it, it just pulled up the wrong thing. So I was like, alright, fine, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the, the it. The stream delay the stream delay isn't isn't that long, so here you go. <laughs> oh, it, it's good. The stream delay was actually pretty good when it was up. Yeah. So uh but no, it was great. Hey, we got another caller. Uh, hey caller, what would you like to oh, convert are into? Oh, we complain about how Siri picks up different things. Uh, hey, hey well, caller. Hey what caller. Would you like to what would you like to convert into? Damn it. <laughs> okay, are we talking about like pounds as in pounds or? Uh, what would you Roll. like to convert into pounds? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, you have pounds that is money, and then you've got pounds that is like weight. What kind of pounds are you trying hey, to convert into? Hey, so Dale, you... kept, Dale kept kept saying 1.2 kilograms, or convert 1.2 kilograms to pounds, to to Siri, and Siri just kept saying, "What would you like to convert into pounds?" <laughs> like five times. Yeah, and then and so I became quarrelsome Siri for the rest of the show. <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds, mate? Mate, and then I changed it to water buffalo by name. So. so, are you going to change Siri when you move to the States? Nah. It's, nah. It's still going to be, you, it's still going to be Australian Aussie. Siri. So, no, it's still going to be so, Australian Siri. You know a little bit about rugby, right? I know a little, I know how it works. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> way more than what I know. Ah, okay, there you go. So, we were at the local Mexican restaurant, and they had rugby, U.S. versus New Zealand. Okay. World Cup of Rugby. Yeah, like the World Championships. Which I did not know was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were, like, trying to, like, figure it out. It's like, oh, wow. Wait, why are they throwing it back? What? Huh? Oh, why did they literally just touch the ball down? Oh, they got five points. <laughs> 
This is Rao literally with me in every any other sports ball game. Uh, but no, rugby is, is a cool sport. Every, every sports ball game is that. Every sports ball game. It's just me on the Although, sidelines. Okay, just... I know some of the rules to most of the major sports that are played in the United States, right? But still, watching them on television is probably the most boring thing in the history of things. Oh. I mean, yes, you're not wrong. The only ones that are boring for me are probably baseball, a little bit of golf. Oh, golf is so boring. Like I, I, I can watch uh, basketball and football. Okay, the one basketball thing. Basketball to me, so basketball to me is just squeaky shoes. I would much rather watch squeaky, netball. Like, I can't actually focus on the game because all I'm thinking about is how squeaky their shoes are. Right. I, I, because I, they squeak a I lot. I would much rather watch netball, to be honest. <laughs> like, if I were to watch a tactical game involving a ball on a court, it would much rather be netball. Wait, netball? What the hell is netball? You don't know what netball is? Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like it's, basketball, except you can't dribble the like ball. Basketball. You can't dribble the ball. Yeah. And you've got basically a... Yeah, it is a, it's a goalkeeper, isn't it? Is that what the technical name is? No, it's goal defensive goal attack. Technically, I think. Yeah, you can only touch the ball with your hand. You can only dribble it with the... The hand, but you can't dribble it in netball. Oh. Yeah, you have to throw it to, to try and get it in the hoop. And only certain people... Are, well, I suppose that's the same in basketball, but yeah. But yeah, it's it's the same as same as basketball, but... Yeah, okay, Australia regular. just like... Oh, hey, I, we think we know how to play this game. No, <laughs> and, well, and also the other thing with... Um, the other thing with uh, netball is, too, you have to freeze in the one spot. You can't travel with the ball. Otherwise... I'm, I'm, I'm Googling this. Are you Googling netball? Is that not a thing over there? Um, well, it's been, it started in England in the 1890s, which... But what would, what would, what would we like to convert into pounds, though? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what... I mean, I could show, I could show part of a, uh, part of a That's netball game. Holy crap! basically started almost at the exact same time uh, right. as as uh, basketball did. Right. I don't know, these ladies are very fit. It's typically a lady sport. Predominantly a lady sport. Predominantly. There's a ladder going up over here. Okay, that's exciting. But, yeah, I'm going to play a video. Let's see what this video is. A Videro. Do, 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 do. There was the so much I to play. They didn't even have a backboard. It's just the net. Yeah, it's just the net. <clears throat> you have to be very, you have to be very tactical with it. So, do, do I sound echoey or anything like that? Uh, you got well. It's it's more so that I think you're in a room with less stuff in it. Oh, yes, yes. So, once yeah. I get more stuff up, yeah, it, yeah. it'd probably kill the echo a little bit more, but... Right. Um, yeah, right, right it, now... Yeah, I'm playing it on stream, be good. So. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Yeah. It's very... It's very head-on. But yeah, once you get more stuff in that room, you'll be alright. How's my mic? I've been worried about that all morning. Oh, no, you, you sound good on Discord. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you sound fine. Yeah, netball is a very tactical sport. Huh. You actually have to be a little bit more precise than in basketball. Yeah. That's why Because you that's can't why I bounce it off the, uh, the backboard. No. Right. And, like, as soon as you have caught it, you, you stop moving. Yes. You freeze. Yeah. And, and I think it's three seconds, I think, you're allowed for the, with the ball. Well, think... What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> uh, what about football, Dale? Uh, I would like to convert that into pounds, sure. Um, 
But no, rugby an entire football field would a football team would probably be a couple like maybe a ton or yeah, it would probably be a ton. But what is that converted into pounds? About a ton. About uh, a foot. A thousand pounds. <laughs> it's about oh, a foot. It would be more than a thousand pounds. I think a basketball team would be like two and a half thousand pounds. They're not they're not heavy people, they're tall. Um uh, no no no. No, in in um football, sorry. Oh football. Basketball yeah, basketball I would think about a thousand pounds. Right. If that. I think if so. five people, uh But yeah, yeah rug- rugby rugby is cool. I, I like rugby. Yeah, so yeah, you basically the aim of the I game. I actually really enjoy. I actually really enjoy watching rugby. Um, I would prefer to watch rugby to football almost, mm-hmm. like hands down. American because... football. Yes, American yeah. football. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're um, fine. American football. They stop every five seconds to like reset. Yeah. And in rugby, <clears throat> they just play. Okay, someone explain the origin story for the random chants that they do in American football. I've never understood that in my life. No, what chants? I don't think... Like, like the defense, offense... Okay, I may be watching... I may be watching the wrong type of movies, but... Don't they, in American football, just go... Two, four, nine, ha! And then they throw the ball. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the uh, quarterback doing the uh, the cadence for the hut, for, for them to receive the ball from the center. Ah, gotcha. It's still random, though. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It, it, it's to let the other players know what what they have to do. Ah. Ah. Okay, so there is some science behind it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because huh. mostly it's like hut, like hut one. Because you, 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 yeah, because it's just your, your signal of when you get the ball from the center and you might want to go with a, a uh, silent count so Ah. you can throw the defense off so you can draw a penalty. So they, they can't go up there and just start chanting, what would you like to convert in two pounds and throw the wall? (laughs) <laughs> That's got Rhino chuffed. <laughs> what would you like to convert it into pounds? <laughs> Alright, no, hang on, we need it. Hey, convert Dale into pounds. Here's what I found on the web for convert Dale into pounds. <laughs> Kaylin! <laughs> Kaylin! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> no, it says Dale, but it pronounced it. Something Dale? else. Dalen, for whatever reason. What what was the answer though? What was the top of what was the top search result? Uh convert pound sterling and US dollar. <laughs> Which one of those is not like the other? Um <laughs> one of those just doesn't belong. Quarrelsome doggo is indeed quarrelsome at the present moment. Aww. Oh, one of, one of my friends didn't realize that people from New Zealand are called Kiwis. Oh, really? What? what? How can they not notice that? Who, who doesn't know that? Mm. I suppose I am I know that better than a lot of people. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not well, like... Depends on if they... Know? What was that, Ram? Oh, no, no, no. I was like, Rhino knows about New, about New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> It's not like it's not like Rhino's ever ne- like been there or like has a best friend from there or anything. Right, or a best friend that visited visited Rhino about two weeks ago. Yeah, you know, he was only here for three weeks. Yeah. Don't just say two weeks ago because I'm still freaking out that it was it only is, two weeks ago. It is only two weeks ago, Ralph. I'm out of here next week. I'm leaving the country next week. You guys? Wait, did you get in trouble, Dale? Uh, yeah, I'm getting deported. Uh, I'm, I've been evicted. <laughs> deported from Australia. Uh, I was. You, uh, you, you kind of have to be pretty bad to get deported from Australia. Oh, yeah, very accurate. Although uh, they do want, they do want a background check before you go into the country. Just true. For anybody who's unaware. 
Now we're very strict here. I found that I found that very funny <laughs> when I when I went to Australia. Yeah, you have to have a background check and I had to I had to like I had to apply for a visa ahead of time. I had to pay them like twenty I think it was like twenty Australian dollars, which um what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> Damn it. Um <laughs> Which is actually only like fifteen dollars American, mm. um, and then but they wanted to do a background check and uh, I. Hey found Siri, it what's twenty American in? <laughs> but what would you like to convert it to pounds? Twenty Australian dollars is fourteen point eight five uh, U.S. dollars. Oh, God. I, I was going to ask you, hey Siri, what's twenty Australian in American? Australian dollars is fourteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> but what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> um, you have the perfect voice for it, right? I like it's just <laughs> perf. No, I just want to record a bumper that just says, "What would you like to convert into pounds?" Or I can just use that. Um, <laughs> 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 I don't want that. We'll do it properly. Um. <laughs> So, uh, what would you like to come in and Um, I don't have anything for the after show. Um, we could do more of these. How, 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 how was your move? What? What? What was that, Rao? Oh, how was my move? Yeah. Um, move was good. Uh, it took most of the day. Uh, I finished at one o'clock. Uh, then I had to go to work at 2.30. It was not great. So are you gone from work already? Like, uh, last day of work? No, last day of work is on Friday, so... I'll be alright. And then, when what? Do you, when do you leave the Australian... place? <laughs> the Australian... I was gonna say something else, but then my brain just, like, blanked. Like, when do you leave the Australian... Homeland. But no, that right. was not the word I was thinking of. When do I leave the generic live country? Uh, there you go. Here I am. Uh, I leave on Tuesday, so next Tuesday. And then you uh, arrive in the States when? Next Tuesday. On Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves on a Tuesday there and then he gets right. a second Tuesday. And I get a second four hours of a Tuesday. Less than four hours. <laughs> Oh, okay. And when are you supposed yeah, to so arrive in, in Florida? Next Tuesday. Oh, just next <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, okay. Tuesday. <laughs> so oh, uh... basically, I had, a, I had a really fun time um, going home from your part of the world because mm. I left on Wednesday at 5.45 in the afternoon and I arrived right. in San Francisco on Wednesday at 5.45. I think it was like 5.50 or something oh, like that. So I was like, oh man, 20 minute flight. Sweet. <laughs> right. Um, so yes, I, I think I understand the question. So yeah, I, I leave, I, I go back, I have to go back and then clean the generic live headquarters, make sure that I set up for the deposit to go through. Uh, so I gave myself a week for that. Uh, they, then next Monday, the reason why I'm not going to be on the show is we're doing closing on it. So we're going to make sure that it's fully done, fully looked after, get signed the deposit paperwork so it lands in my account hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday. And I arrive there next Tuesday. I fly out here at 6 a.m. Tuesday morning and arrive there at 6, 6.30 p.m. Tuesday night. So you're, it's T minus one week, a week and a half. Uh, T minus uh, a week and a day. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. because it's Monday for you right now. It's Monday for me, yeah. Uh, and then I have, I think I have six days of doing nothing. Well, not doing nothing, but on the ground there. So I, I get there on Tuesday and I check in to Disney on the 6th. Oh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find something to do there. Oh, there's, there's going to be, like, no, we're, we're so strapped for work. There is nothing going on at the moment. No geek IO work that I could do. Nothing. It's going to be a struggle. We're going to be bought out of my way. I don't have to open an American bank account. I don't have to do any prep, last minute prep for Disney at all. It's going to be smooth sailing. Man, that's going to be fun, isn't it? What? Me opening an American bank account? <laughs> 
Yeah, are you going to use the Bolts address for that? Or are you going to use the Disney address? Or yeah, probably use the Disney address. Do you already know where you're going to be? Uh, I, I know it's hmm. personal. We'll get into personal stuff, but... No, no, you're right. Um, I have... I have... I have details. I'll put it okay. There. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say what the address is or there or something. But I have those details. Yeah, you, you <laughs> don't want the details that. Oh yeah, I'll be here at this time, <laughs> and uh, and this is my personal cell phone number if you want to call me. Right. And just blast that out on Twitter. <laughs> just Justin did. Oh yeah, on a dare. That was that was so good. I, I would I would I would I would text out my 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 personal cell phone numbers on any email that that I reply back to, so people have my personal cell phone number. So mm, might want to switch that one up. Eh, nah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to switch carriers when you get over here, right? Yep. Uh, over there and get an American phone, which reminds me, I have to. I have to ring my uh, I have to ring my telephone provider and see if I can keep my phone uh, and put a new SIM card in it. Excuse me, I'm talking about my phone. I mean, it, most international phones are unlocked, I think. Right. I just got to make sure of it. It's one of those things that I have to double check. I mean, it's not like they're going to send a whole team after you in Florida, right? Uh. They're just gonna stop. They're just gonna cut off my phone unexpectedly. Well, yeah, but you. It, uh, oh wait, yeah, that's right. It's it's not like just Australian AT and T, right? It's mm. it's like an Australian telecom company. Exactly. Yeah, Which overseas they... phones don't like to play with American networks. Right. Every mm. time the Kiwi comes over, he goes with like T Mobile or something like that because they offer like a sim card with a pre-paid like data plan thing yeah, oh, yeah because some of the phones aren't unlocked phones and you yeah. can't just put whatever sim card you want in there yeah yeah i just gotta yeah, make so, like, sure his that... phone is is unlocked so he can put whatever sim card he wants in yeah so he comes over here and he just buys a t-mobile sim card for so many minutes on it or whatever yeah, so he ba he basically just comes over, pays for a month of prepaid service, and then and then he can just put that SIM card into his phone and it works. Right. I I will probably do the same. I but the, my problem is I've got to make sure that my phone is unlocked. My iPhone. My iPhone. I know my phone. I know my Samsung is. If worse comes to worse, I could just go back to my Samsung. Yeah. Where where I'm not going to be asking what I would like to convert into pounds, but hey, it's it's worth a shot. What but what is would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> Still talked over you, unfortunately. Um, but, but what what is the Samsung equivalent of it? It would be Google. It'd be hey Google. Yeah, it'd be yeah. Yeah, because on all the Android devices, it's the Google Assistant. Google Assistant, yeah. Yeah. Which, which is all right. I mean, I pretty much just type everything I want to know into Google anyway. So, like, I don't true. know. True. Very true. So, I mean, it sort of does all right. It's just for some reason it chokes under pressure whilst on air. I don't know why. It's just like, no, I'm stage fright. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. Uh. None of the BuzzFeed quizzes that I've looked at are even well, uh, we've remotely got, fun. We've, so, got more, just... we've, we've got more of these. We want plates. Do we want to go through and riff on some of these more? Oh, my God. Some more that we didn't get Those through in the pre-show? These <laughs> plates, though. It's late though. I right. actually missed. I missed the whole pre-show, so I didn't. Uh... Oh, you didn't. You didn't get to uh, see the uh, amazingness that was um, uh, sync nachos. Then. Oh God! I don't even. I don't even want to. Know. Never mind. Nope. I'm nope. sorry. I said anything. Nope. And what I... would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? 
<laughs> That's how I'm gonna change the subject. Wait, all the time. Oh, now. what the hell is this? Yeah, this is a thing. This is a Reddit that uh, Carrie sent to me. Thank oh, you, Carrie, oh, again for this, yeah. this subreddit. Uh, and, and she put it in the Discord. Kick dash I don't know Discord. You can go into the okay. Gen 5 Show oh. channel. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, I, I opened the link, and the uh -huh. first thing that caught my eye was is about midway down. Uh huh. Right under Cream Canoe. That's. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's, it's exactly what you think it is. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Jarek Live Show discussion and all the hipster food news you, you can eat is here. Oh wait, this is actual hipster food. This is actual hipster yeah. food, my dude. It's, it's yeah, like people taking pictures of things they get in restaurants for like in place of plates. So because we we all talked. All you want is a goddamn plate. Well, uh, we we talked about we talked about uh, uh, raspberry pads. Uh, so let's let's talk. Let's let's start with the wow. olive tree. The olive tree. That's where we're starting. Uh, uh, huh? What? What the? F Why are those <laughs> olives hanging from that tree? What a? It's an olive tree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, but but why? why? Like, so okay. There, those are why are there why are there pipes going into there? They're hooks to hold on to them. Yeah, uh, true. So wait, you, yeah. Let me have the olive tree. Oh wait, you mean I paid thirty dollars just for three olives? Right. Do you get to keep the tree at least? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Uh, this next one is called God is Real. <laughs> Due to circumstances beyond our control, all meals will be served on plates. We apologize if this spoils your experience. Yeah. God is real. God is real. Hey, that is going straight in the Discord right now. <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> Due to circumstances beyond our control, we are serving our meals on plates. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, we're now doing the uh, pizza in a tire. God, and by that reaction... On a tire. It's not in a tire. Oh, it's, it's not on a tire. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Also, I'm getting nothing but advertisements for Dirty Lemon now, just so you guys are aware. Ooh. Ever since I found it the other day when we were talking about activated charcoal, I get nothing but ads. So, <laughs> I mean... Because... I'm getting ads. Because it I'm getting... me mad every time I see it. I'm it getting... makes me... Okay. Hot Scoops with Rhino. Uh, Dirty Lemon Edition. No, wait. Activated Charcoal Edition. Yeah. Uh, activated charcoal edition number two because I've already ranted about this on the post show before. Hello, but... Miss? Miss? Yes. Miss? Can I get a plate? Sorry, sorry. We we don't have any plate. <laughs> we don't have any plates. We, we, have we just have tires. tires. <laughs> no, for the next one. Oh, uh, really? Oh, you know okay. how much of a. Oh my oh. god. How do you even like. Yeah, okay. We just um... have shovels. It's fine. My page. Sorry, we're, we're getting ahead of you, Dale. No, my page, my page <laughs> refreshed, so you're fine. Um, oh my god, what the? It's like those hips. <laughs> it's like those hipster tools that were put in the Discord too. <laughs> I just don't. I don't understand why we need special plates. I don't like. We don't actually need special plates. We just. Oh no! Because everyone's a special snowflake, and they they name me have a unique plate. So. Well, well, yes, that, and also, could you just, like, make that portion a little bit smaller so I can pick up the handle of the shovel and put it all in my mouth at once? <laughs> uh, Are you kidding? That is one spoonful. <laughs> yes, for all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, back to Hot Scoops with Rhino. Hot Scoops with Rhino. Yeah, so, uh, so after, so I, I can't, I still can't find the article that I read about how how you probably shouldn't have activated charcoal if you are taking certain kinds of medication um because but there is an article somewhere on the internet it is somewhere in the ether there mm. not in my history for some reason that's all right about, about how you should not 
have anything with our activated charcoal in it if you if you take things like are trying to take Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, because right. activated charcoal absorbs acetaminophen. Hmm. Um, but also things like uh, tricyclic um, antidepressants, which have all kinds of uses, mostly to treat bipolar disorder. And um, I actually used to have to take one for migraines. So I don't know what the difference between tricyclic antidepressants and other antidepressants are, but the, the one that I had to take, it's called amitriptyline. And so they used it as an antidepressant for a long time, but then they found that it has preventative properties for migraines. So right. if, I had, if I had decided to get on this whole activated charcoal thing that everybody is obsessed with, I would not have had the benefit of of the migraine medication and I would still be is suffering. Activate migraines. charcoal the new gluten free? Uh kind of. A little it, bit. Like, it seems like it. I mean it has been a thing since like the eighteen hundreds. We discovered oh, yeah. its ability to like prevent uh poison like like basically you take too much of a medication and a doctor is going to put act like give you activated charcoal to drink like they're going to mix it with water and you're going to drink it and it's going to absorb the extra medication that you took whatever happened to a good old-fashioned stomach pump well that's yeah. kind of what that's kind of what activated charcoal does like it's basically a less harsh version of what what you would consider a stomach pump um because all, all because of what it does it just uh, absorbs everything in your stomach like every like as long as the medication is a certain type it's going to absorb it if, as long as it doesn't have any like metal alcohol metals in it um, right so like it's going to absorb it and so that's basically it's basically a stomach pump um people but people have decided to try and put it in freaking water Water and and oh, chocolate now. They're all water. And then, Talking and then about like hipster. Five dollars for six for six bottles of it. Talking about hipster water. I had something earlier called. My roommates gave me something. It was aloe vera, strawberry banana, water. Why would you? What? Why would you want to drink aloe vera? <laughs> it's like twenty percent aloe vera and like the rest of it. No, <laughs> it was kiwi, strawberry kiwi. I think. But still, that's, okay. aloe vera so is see. the stuff you put on skin to prevent burns, right? Yeah. Yes, aloe vera is is a plant that is used to to treat uh, sunburns. Why would you want to? I know very well, being a ginger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but what would you like to convert it to? So, no, but why would you want to rub that? On, like, why would you want to drink that? Yeah. Like. Um, I didn't get let's it. Let's see. So, there is very little data to support its use on humans. Aloe vera, aloe vera juice. I mean, it probably right. tasted. It, it, like it probably tasted good. Like, I'm not going to deny that. Yeah, I mean, it was okay. I mean, it was water. But it's hipster as hell. Yeah. <laughs> did you feel like a hipster though? Did you Did you feel it? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, hip, rather hipster. Look at you living it up in the city. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. But no, back to activated charcoal. Like I think, again, oh, wow. People are on this. People I think are on this activated charcoal because one person it, it spread by word of mouth again. I think, and they're like, oh, the yoga mums went to Pilates and and went, hey, I, hey, Janice put me onto this activated charcoal chocolate and it was delicious. Natural conversation I ever that heard at work. Disgusting. <laughs> Natural conversation I ever heard at work. Oh my God, Dale! Why? Yes, no, no. I don't mean. Why would anyone? Why would anyone eat activated charcoal chocolate? I. Okay, so all of the reasons I found a list of twelve reasons why you should drink a glass of aloe vera juice. Ooh. All of them are hipster, and none of them are true. So... <laughs> okay. Okay. All of them are hipster. Reasons. None of them are true. Oh. Okay. All right, so. Number one, aloe vera juice is alkalizing, Ooh, which so. I don't believe. I don't believe that it alkalizes your blood. It nope, al alkalizes? So, so, 
Um, I become a full metal blood, alchemist. Th- according to this, this is from a website <laughs> called naturallivingideas.com. I put it in. <laughs> According to naturallivingideas.com. Yep. So this, according to this website, our blood has to be slightly on the alkaline side, which which means its pH has to be, should be above seven. Above seven? Below seven? I can't remember which one is, which one is acidic or, or, um... The body tries. Yeah, I think anyway, it's whatever. low. I think so, lower is acrylic more and higher acidic. Is more acidic. Yeah. Okay. Blood anyway, has a so work. it says that it says that aloe vera juice can can help alkalize your blood. I don't believe that. Aloe vera has an in, anti-inflammatory effect. That is true, but like externally. I don't know about its internal <laughs> use in... Yeah, like, I, I've been burnt <laughs> before and put aloe vera on it. Like, my grandmother used to grow the plant. Yep. And I'd get burnt, and she'd cut a piece off and just rub it on the burn. Arthritis. Yep. And that's how... IBS computers, I mean, and... heart disease, and Cronin's disease. Sure. Rubbed externally, um, maybe. It... Apparently, it is a digestive aid, which I don't really believe either. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it's water, then sure. What juice? Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so it also what? somehow claims to oh. to help promote <laughs> regularity of movements, but also. <laughs> But is also a digestive aid, which which is supposed to help your upset stomach, but like so keep dumb. it from doing exactly what it says it's doing in the next one. I'm so dumb. Um, I'm so dumb. I read that as num- I read that as aloe vera habit promotes regularly. Oh. <laughs> the next I- one is that it detoxifies the body. Can you guess? Can you guess what I'm gonna say about that? It's shit, Bullshit. literally. Oh, excuse me. Literally. That, your, me. that your goddamn <laughs> liver does that. That's what your liver is for. Liver. Liver bounce. Liver bounce. Liver bounce. <laughs> if your liver is not functioning, go to a doctor. Do not drink things that say detoxifying. If, your, if your color of your skin is yellow, I mean like a yellow tint. Hey, we like oh. Chinese people too. No, Dale. <laughs> no, that's that's the sign of your liver. Liver. Yeah. When you when your orange when your orange turns yellow when your no, skin when turns when you yellow. Have jaundice. Yes. That is when your liver is failing. Yes. Uh, aloe vera juice aids weight loss. I mean, regular juice does that too. What what doesn't aid weight loss? What um, right? McDonald's water. Doesn't... Regular regular water does that. You yeah. just drink more of it. Right. Um, helps maintain hydration. Uh, so does water. But I don't think that that's like okay, cool. <laughs> the hydrating <laughs> effects of of gel works from the inside too. No, <laughs> no. Ah, but okay. when taken regularly, it helps maintain soft s- s- and supple skin, free of wrinkles and blemishes. Aloe vera juice helps control blood glucose levels in diabetic. I don't feel like you should base your health information on this website. You should probably talk to your doctor if you have diabetes before using this to control your blood glucose levels. Oh, we anyway. can make our, we can make our own. Oh my God! There's so much steps to creating aloe vera juice. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of you. Sorry. Apparently, it lowers your blood cholesterol somehow. Um, improves oral health. Oh, great! So somehow, oh no, because it's not acidic or sugary. Somehow, that means that it helps promote oral health. Didn't it Except- say it was? Except that it's not, so it's not acidic and not sugary, but that does not mean that it is going to help your tooth enamel at all. It is just 
not as sugary or acidic as soda. So they're like, oh, yeah, that means it improves your oral health. Nope. All you have to do is swish the juice around in your mouth for a minute or two. Man, if I had a dollar for every time someone said that to me. Anyway. (laughs) What would you like to convert Um, into pounds? (laughs) What would you like to convert into pounds? Um, Aloe vera juice can give a vitamin and mineral boost. Okay, sure. I'm sure it can. That's a lot of... It says iron, copper, zinc, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, manganese, and chromium are present in varying quantities. Yeah, but just because they're present does not mean you're going to absorb them once they're in your body. Exactly. That's... Yeah. Um, Aloe vera provides essential amino acids. Okay, if they're essential, I would know what amino acids are. (laughs) <laughs> well, amino acids are actually um, essential, but I don't believe that aloe vera has them things that we can that we can absorb. Again, just because it has it in there doesn't mean that we're able to absorb it. Um, so I was looking back at those uh, hipster plates. Look at eye pasta, Dale. Yeah, let's 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 go let's go back to let's go yes. back to something back happy. To that. Uh, ravioli on a clothesline? Those pegs, like, what What would be the point of that? First of all, you can't really sanitize those pegs very well. No. Like, I mean, I guess you could dip them in, the, in a sanitizing solution, but, like, there are raised bits of metal. Like, if you look at the back side of one of those, one of the sides, you can see, like, the corners, like, the edges are all raised. So, like, you wouldn't be able to clean in between... Yeah, bits, okay. Uh, I uh, can't go to a hip place that serves hipster food. What the fudge is this eye pasta? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this? You it's wanted a picture a plate? of a plate on an iPad or something? Yes. Uh, yeah, it has to be an iPad. I don't feel like I don't feel like that this this I, is actually I think this one was must have been staged. It had to have been staged. Uh damp dinner. What is damp oh, dinner? Gross. Uh, uh, Ew. Uh, Disgusting. Uh, Soggy french fries are the worst. They're oh. the worst kind of french fries. A burger, so this is basically burgers and fries in a cup? Yeah, basically. What? Burgers and fries in a cup, but they have filled it so full that the fries are at the bottom, and they're gonna just get all soggy and gross. And we all know you eat fries before the burgers. We yeah. all know that. Yeah, like <laughs> like a like a sensible human being, not a monster. I yeah, uh, Ryan, and you and I think Rao missed this too. In the pre-show, we started some of this. There was a uh, fruit salad in a wine glass what looked like fruit salad in a wine glass upside down so it was trapped underneath the wine glass so yeah okay so i have put food in different containers before oh yeah i mean i've had cereal out of a cup before yeah but like that's in your own house not like at a restaurant (laughs) and and you're not charging yourself five hundred dollars for it yeah and also like Yes, but also you could get at the cereal. You can't get to these burgers. How are you meant to put your hands in there? How? Are you... Yeah, you, you're putting out parts at that point. You're deconstructing it yourself. <laughs> Pre-constructed, reconstructed. But, but it's bad because those fries do look good. And finally, the yeah, last one so on this credit. I really, I really want fries now. I do too. I might have fries for lunch. I, I had rice for dinner, so I would like. I now I just really want French fries. Uh, Taco Bell has the uh, uh, nacho fries. <sighs> Can I come over there I a week early? I would have to drive like five miles to get to Taco Bell. Oh that's really? Like too oh, that's too far. <laughs> ah, and also finally, justice is served. With. I'm glad that they didn't. I, I'm glad it was just it's just hooks and not an actual, like an actual uh, scale. Yeah, <laughs> an actual yeah. scale. I mean, it technically is a scale. 
No. Yes. There's no. There, there's it's no. Just, it's it's just a a facsimile of a scale. A facsimile. Like a scale. <laughs> fake scale. This is not a real it's scale. Fake, it's fake, 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 fake news. False headlines. False scales. Uh, but yeah, these are what dimsons. There's no fulcrum, right? Is is that the right term? Um. I don't know. Hey, what would you yeah. like to what would um, you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? Um, <laughs> oh, I'm watching pivots. Yeah, I would I would assume. So yes. Look at me using big words. Oh wow! Look at you go. Uh, yeah, but I want to walk down memory lane with this yes, upside down for you inside. are you are correct Sometimes also referred to just as a pivot, but you know no. That other word was more fancy. I didn't even know what it was <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just scrolling through the regular regular We Want Plates subreddit, and there's <laughs> fish fish served on a rock sitting on a cutting board. Oh my god. No! Uh, That's not a thing. How is that a thing? I don't know. Why? I just don't know. Lemon, sor <laughs> lemon sorbet served inside a lemon rind. Just put it on a plate. Please just put it on a plate. Just please, just, you have plates. It's a mandatory requirement. Also, one of the problems with one of these earlier was that it, they served breakfast in a bookcase. Don't ask. But... Yeah, I, I saw that one. They have a sort, they have plates there because they put the teacup on a plate. <laughs> oh, Ironic gosh. photo Oh my ever. god, didn't realize I went to dinner at a kennel. It's a dog bowl. Oh, Ooh. that's disturbing. That's actually kind of gross. Another person who's using that stupid scoop. I don't <laughs> like it. I don't... just don't like it. It's a hot scoop with Rhino. Uh... Oh, it's the worst. Which one? <laughs> oh, I just linked it in the Twitch chat. You dig it. Apparently. Apparently, you dig it. Oh my god, I see the top of it. Dig it. I, uh, I can actually see that uh, like one some, somewhere around here at one of the steakhouses. Another one! Yet another, yet another, why are we serving things in scoops? <laughs> a gyro oh, in you, my... It just bothers you that it's in a scoop. Yeah, shoveling a gyro. Shove, shoveling a gyro in my mouth. You know that's pronounced hero, right? No. What? Okay. It's, it's, it's hero. Wait, G-Y-R-O is hero? Yeah, it's a, it's a Greek sandwich. Yeah, you know, I, I just keep saying it's right because it annoys my <laughs> Greek friends. Also, how are you meant to smash the plate afterwards? That's half the fun. Well, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't Google is telling me it's gyro. Mm, oh. Definitely hero. What would you like to convert into fans? Uh oh. We're having a we're having a blast off. We're having a blast off? Let me see. What are we doing? GY Arrow. Guy oh, it's like hero, but it's it's yeah. with a Y hero. instead of it. Yeah. So like you basically just don't pronounce the G. If you if you wanna be pretentious and and actually use Greek properly. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Euro. That's... Euro. Euro. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I thought someone had Euro. come into the voice chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those... one of those... Uh, trolls that we got. So yeah, the, kept spamming the same just, word over and over again. It's euro, euro, yeah, euro, euro, euro. euro. <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> it's always out, out. Oh god. Um, did anyone have a? This did, is making me upset. 
What is making you upset? The fact that it's Euro and not Gyro? No! Oh, us oh, constantly- okay. It's a subreddit! Oh, I thought oh, you were- oh, 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 yeah. oh, us constantly asking what you would like to convert into pounds. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my goodness gracious. What? So did anyone I... read- I, I might save this article for the next time I do the show. I oh, will send it to CJ. But did anyone see this Verge article this morning? Or earlier? What? Uh, about Lyft and Uber drivers live streaming uh, their rides without the rider's permission. Uh, de it, 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 it depends the state. Because I know in some states you need all parties to consent. In some states you only need one party to consent. Yeah, but... Uh, this is... I put it but, in But that's a dealer. recording. But live streaming is different. But... Oh, yeah. I mean, I mm. technically by you guys coming into this voice channel, you've consented to be on the show sure. and, and answer and answer what? the tough Why question. Why the hell would you put food in a shoe? <laughs> <laughs> you put alcohol in a shoe. It's quite delicious. No, you <laughs> you is a very that is a term. <laughs> I do not put alcohol in a shoe. Uh, good to I put know. alcohol in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I put alcohol in bottles, and then I put it from the bottle to my mouth. <laughs> and then you... Or, or, or from the glass into your body. I mean, I just... Into no, your body. <laughs> straight into Wait, the body. I just skip the, I just skip the glass altogether. <laughs> oh, nice. And that's when Rhino knocks out. <laughs> and then she asks us what she wants to convert into pounds. <laughs> would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? Uh, but yeah, no, this, I think this came from St. Louis in Missouri. Uh, so we don't have to talk about this now, but I thought it would be an interesting. I did not, I did not actually see that article, but I will uh, look it up at some point. I mean, we can talk about it next time, but because we're, pu we're, push we're pushing an hour already, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what we do. This is what we do. We're real, we're real good at, at pushing an hour show. Right. I, that's nothing wrong. I'm not going to be on GLS for a while, so I don't mind if this goes long at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, he has a. a, a we'll, we'll briefly we'll talk about this again another time. But yeah, three thousand dollar camera setup. Has about four thousand. 350 Twitch followers, and about 100 of them pay a minimum of $5 a month to subscribe to his channel. But why does... why does he do that? I don't understand. Like, I don't... I mean, yes, okay, a lot of people watch it, but why? Euro. Oh, pfft, Euro. Shut up! But like, really, why? Why, <laughs> why would you watch somebody just Euro dr driving people? I, don't get it. I mean, I, I well, watch could, could it be like the conversations that he starts up with random people? Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I watch a YouTube channel well, and... with, with, with the whole Twitch IRL channel now, where you can pretty much do whatever you want. Now you can. Hey, I'm going down to the local restaurant and get something to eat. Come with me. Right. So strange. <laughs> I don't under. I just don't get it. I mean, well, I yeah. Just... I mean, you have people watching other people play games. Yeah, but like that's interesting because you're playing <laughs> I... a video game. Me going to the local restaurant and you coming with me? That would be not boring. Actually, then you watching. Although I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, but. I don't want to watch people eat on stream. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> that's right. No, there's, so, actually, there's actually a thing, social eating. It's I huge. Don't, I don't like it. I just don't. Okay, so there were, are the Geek I.O. Show auto host was hosting somebody <laughs> while I was waiting for some show or other to start. I had it on in the background. But when this guy died and was waiting for a res, he started eating. And I'm like, nope, can't wait. I have to just wait until it actually... Because I can't watch this guy eat on stream. No, oh no, no, Hang on, no. I need to find that. <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? 
<laughs> Ryan would like to pound me right now. I don't know what it is. It like part it's of it is very the noise, annoying. It, it, it like it, part of it is the noise, but part of it is just the idea that like like you can't just take a few minutes away from your computer to go finish your food. But then again, so, do you really make that much noise if you close your mouth while you eat? Because uh, I know yes. there's some people. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Depends on what it is. I there mean, are if... some people who make a lot of noise even if their mouth is completely closed. Guilty. It's very upsetting, and it's part of the reason why, like, if I go to the movies when there are a lot of people at the movies, I have to get popcorn. Because if other people have popcorn and I don't have popcorn, I'm going to be concentrating on the sounds of people chewing popcorn for the whole movie <laughs> and not paying attention to the movie. Wow. Which sounds ridiculous, but it's I mean, true. It's true. It's oh, very true. You, you saw what I posted, right? In, in Slack? Mm, about, about the guy, the, the guy, guy that was yes. I mm. responded. Oh, you have to, you have to read the. Anyway, um... RTFS. <laughs> I think I saw it. I don't know. It's been, it's been a whirlwind of a, an adventure. <laughs> but that's awesome. Like I always bring knitting to the movies with me, um, because I don't actually look at my hands when I'm knitting, as evidenced by. When I was on Geek IO show knitting the entire time, which is going, I still have to edit it. Uh, hey, <laughs> guess what I'm doing this afternoon? What are you doing this afternoon? <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> uh, when the next when the next Geek IO show goes live, or when the next when it's going to be up on the RSS feed. The Patreon one? Yeah, patreon.com slash geekio. I, I will get it up. I, I will, I promise. That oh my. Sound, that sounds... <laughs> <laughs> what, would I like to, what would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> Can I just have my pickup what line? What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> um, I, I, I can't do it here, but I'll do it in person when, when we're at Dragon Con. Whoa, good morning. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Can morning. I just not? I just don't want to be in this conversation. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's oh, it's a two two consent state. Great. But no, I think I I watch a I watch a YouTube channel where he talks about talks to people on rides, but he makes a whole bit of asking them if they want to be in this nicely edited clip show, essentially of his rides. But I think the problem with live streaming is what if something, what if he gets a gun held to his head or heaven forbid, like, or someone drops then heaven it's, forbid then also it's documented and his viewers. And then he gets to play Fortnite with Drake. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so. I just don't like, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I guess I have. A, a difficulty understanding just every like I'm going to film literally everything in my life right not everything that every person does is really interesting just just so you know <laughs> like this show uh, but then anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god more food in a shoe <laughs> oh sorry god. I'm still looking I'm still looking I have to Hey, I closed it ages ago. <laughs> so but, many more shoe food shoes. Shoe food. Food. Shoe, shoe, shoe food. Shoe, shoe food. Shoe food. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand shoe food. Shoe food. You do add that to my bookmarks. You're right. We'll be coming back to that well. Thanks, Gary. Ah, <laughs> You know what? None of these places have to really advertise. No, they don't. Not at all. I mean, because the hipsters would do it for them. Exactly. All the influencers. We want plates. We want plates. Ch -ch -ch. We want plates. Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> You're right. I just want a plate. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I might be a hipster in some respects, but there are definitely like things that are just too ridiculous for me. Like, I think I, I'm coming around on the cutting board thing. I think I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I've never come around on the cutting board. Thing. So I, I okay. Mean, I, I I I can understand why you. I am apparently I'm a germaphobe. So I understand I think it why from you would. Worked in a restaurant. Ah. <laughs> Like, I think it has, comes from having worked in a restaurant and, like, knowing exactly how dirty everything is. Right. <laughs> Basically. But, like, cutting boards made of wood absorb things. Wood uh, is an, abs- like, it is a porous material that absorbs bacteria. Right. Um, so, for instance, I have my ears gauged. Um, my, my earrings are a half inch in diameter so when you are stretching your earlobes you cannot wear wooden earrings because it's a porous material that absorbs bacteria and can cause an infection in your ear okay the same thing can be said for a wooden cutting board that your food is being is being transported on if there was any bacteria on the cutting board it has been absorbed period end of list no matter how much you sanitize it what about a plastic one i mean plastic is infinitely more cleanable so i would be less (laughs) upset about a plastic cutting board i love the scales of rhino's upset level (laughs) (laughs) scales of rhino's Uh, I am just very particular, okay? I, no, I, I appreciate that. I, I definitely appreciate that. I'm only picking on you because I'm the same way. <laughs> so, like, the most non-plate thing that I've eaten on is probably a napkin or a paper towel. Yeah. I, I, eat, I eat off of paper towels all the time. I don't want to have to do dishes. That's <laughs> the, In my own house, I would rather eat from the container in which I cooked it or, or get up get up it's a microwave head. bowl dale I mean, it's not like she has a uh, a pot in front of her eating okay so if i'm cooking like macaroni and cheese i do not dirty another vessel <laughs> after i have stirred the macaroni and cheese i just eat it from the pot because i don't want to have to clean a bowl because I am the laziest creature on the face of the earth. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> You're the most efficient. You're the most efficient. Yeah, I'm, you. I am very efficient because I'm lazy. I do not want to <laughs> have to put ef- extra effort into it. I mean, that's that's fair. Uh, hey, Cola, you're on the air. What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> what would you like to convert into pounds? Hey, Cooler, you're on the air. What would you like to convert into pounds? <laughs> yeah, that was something. <laughs> hey, and he's gone. Oh, we scared him away asking him what he would like to convert into pounds. <laughs> uh, I think that's a sign that we should wrap this post show up, I think. <laughs> when CJ comes okay, on, you yeah. know it's time to wrap up. You know it's time to go. <laughs> no, because... <laughs> It's the, nine the, o'clock already now. The, the boss is oh. coming and, and is. And I've is... got one last thing to say. Sure. Um, <laughs> have you ever been to a steakhouse where you just throw the peanut shells on the floor? No, that's disgusting. Yes. But also, yes, I uh, I have been to one of those, and I agree. <laughs> that is disgusting. And now like, I... that was their whole like thing that's like oh yeah just crush the peanuts and and just throw them on 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 the floor why i don't know oh why. because it's a, I mean, because it's a, a steakhouse that's so. just a texas thing roll i mean it's just what you do apparently i mean i don't i get it i i get that the, but, but have a bowl there we want bowls like have a bowl there for your your, your nutshells all right. Oh my god. Have a bowl for your nuts. It's fine. <laughs> what, would you, what would you like to convert it to pounds? Uh, <laughs> All right. Welcome All to right. Gamer Geek. Welcome to Gamer Geeks, everyone. The game we play today is the, the, the Jerry Clive Show host show. 
<laughs> yes! The, the game we're playing today is, what would you like to confirm the town? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's let's round this out. Thank you, Rider and Ralph for the twenty people, whatever this was, whatever this was, and uh, we'll see. This you is all beta sh beta alpha show zero. <laughs> yes, for, for the, the for the Dell Rhino and Raul show. Exactly. Yeah, this is, ah. this is the 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 third third demo tape we've been for the Ronald Dale and Monica show. Right. Hi, my name is Water Buffalo. We hope you've enjoyed this GKO <laughs> Media Network production. Copyright 2018. You see how that works? What would you like to convert? It's your bounce. It's your bounce. <laughs> the outro. <laughs> Hey, everyone, we'll like see Like the you. most random, random stuff. <laughs> Alright. Oh Alright, let's get out of here. But, uh, bye, everyone. We'll see bye. you all next week. Bye. bye.